Morning Routine of a Successful Person Hello mga kenchops, again this is Coach Jobs and welcome back to my channel Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, magsubscribe ka na and of course don't forget to click the notification bell para like and notify every time meron tayong mga videos na in-upload Morning Routine of a successful person. You know what guys, you and I know na, you know, if you have win the morning, you will about to win the day. Ang maghapon mo usually nakadepende kung paano mo sinimulan ng umaga mo. And it's very very important kung gusto mo mag meron ka ng magandang araw, uh, it's, it's it's very significant na dapat umaga pa lang. Solve na. Kailangan, you know what, morning pa lang. Maka good mag good mood mo na, 'di ba? Yung sarili mo. In such a way na there's a lot of routines na na mga taong successful na ginagawa nila this based on my own research and this could probably help you guys kapag sinilan mo tong routine na to every day. Kadalasan, di ba, may sinasabi nga tayo na di ba, ah, umagang umaga, di ba, na bad mood ka maghapon, bad mood ka na, na nayamot ka ng umaga, nagkameron ka ng unexpected, di ba, na hindi mo inaasa mga bagay na ayaw mo, maghapon, na bad trip ka na. And kaya nga guys, we have to protect the morning. Ang, ang umaga natin, it's very, very important na kailangan, ano natin yan, na masimulan natin ng maayos, masimulan natin ng tama, at masimulan natin ng maganda talagang umaga. Alright? And today, I'll be discussing you the basic, uh, you know, morning routine of, of a successful person. So, ano nga ba? Paano nga ba yung umaga ng mga taong successful? Alright? So, again, this according to my research, according to my own beliefs. And uh, paano ba sinisimulan? Ah, uh, ano, nang taong successful ang kanyang umaga. All right? So number one, don't use your mobile phone. Yes, you heard it right. Pagising mo sa umaga, wag na wag mo muna nga hawakan ang cellphone mo. Guys, alam nyo na alam naman natin na ang cellphone mo, nandiyan yung social media account mo, nandiyan yung communication mo with your probably with clients, friends or someone else. Guys, ang cellphone mo is probably minsan one source of negativity. Kasi andyan yung news, di ba? Uh, kagigising mo pa lang, di ba? Meron agad na estorbo, meron agad na bala, meron agad probably uh, unexpected happenings that it can it can change your mood. Ang ganda na ng umaga mo. Kaso nga lang, nung nabasa mo yung text nung, di ba? Nung kaibigan mo na nangungutang sa ina, di ba? So, hindi ko naman sinasabi na, na masama na mang, uh, hindi magpautang. I mean, hindi ko naman sinasabi na huwag ka magpautang. But what I'm trying to say, you have to protect your filter in the morning. So kailangan sa umaga pa lang, wag na wag mong hawakan ng cellphone mo. So guys, one tip. You might be ask, you might be saying to me, Coach Japs, yung cellphone ko kasi ito yung pinang-alarm ko. So guys, wag kang mag-alala na intindihan kita. What you'll be doing is this. Bumili ka ng alarm clock, all right? Yung yung traditional, okay? Yung alarm clock na kung saan yung classic. Yung ang alarm na is yung traditional. Yung cellphone mo ilagay mo sa cabinet mo, all right? Ilagay mo na malayo sa iyo. Para hindi ka matemp Kasi guys, ang cellphone kasi, nakasira siya ng quality sleep. So, pinakamaganda, alisin mo yung cellphone mo, you know, beside your, beside your bed, ilayo mo, magkaroon ka ng ibang alarm clock para nang sa ganon, pag-isig mo, hindi cellphone na ngahawakan mo. Okay? Pangalawa, uh, of course, uh, you know what, kapag ka na-off mo na yung, i-off mo yung wifi para walang masyadong pumasok agad na notification para hindi ka talaga agad mabother, isilent mo. So for the meantime, meaning, so umaga pa lang, don't never ever touch your phone para hindi mo makuha yung mga negativity. Okay? So that's number one. Pangalawa, you have to make up your bed. So, anong sabi na make up your bed? Abay, magligpit ka naman ng iyong kama. So, yung kumot mo, yung unan mo, ayusin mo. Kasi kung, kung ano ka sa maliliit na bagay, ganyan ka din sa mga malalaking bagay. Sabi nga, kung ikaw, you know, naayos mo yung mga maliliit na bagay, God will give you bigger things na, you know, mas magiging responsable ka pa. So, guys, sabi ko nga, ayusin mo yung pinagigaan mo. That's one one of the traits sa mga taong successful. Marunong silang magtupi na kanilang pinagigaan. Alright? Alisin mo yung, al alisin mo yung paniniwala mo na itutulugan ko din naman yan, mamaya. Hindi ko naayusin. Mali. Okay? So, ligpitin mo yung pinagigaan mo. You have to make up your bed. Alright? That's the second step. Pangatlong step o pangatlong routine ng mga taong successful. Pagising mo, drink two glass of water. As so much possible, hindi malamig. Dapat, da, sa ano yan, ano yan eh, uh, kailangan uminom ka ng dalawang basong tubig. Probably, uh, yung semi-warm o yung mas malamig pa na konti sa warm. Yung between warm at saka yung, di ba, yung normal ano lang. 
normal temperature water or room temp water, okay? So, bakit? Kasi, uh, so, sa gabi kasi, nadidehydrate tayo. Chances are, natutuyo na lang muna mo, probably. And, of course, the second brain is your gut, no? Yung, yung ano natin, sikmura. So, i-fill mo yan ng tubig, no? Para, you know, maganda yung circulation, okay? Sa katawan mo. So, that's, uh, yun yung sunod na routine ng mga taong successful. Let's take your supplements. So, kung meron kang tinitake na supplements, kung yan ay probably uh, before meal or on empty stomach mo inino mas maganda. You could take probiotics. You could take, you know, yung mga all-natural supplements, yung mga herbal supplements if you have. Para, you know, kasi kung yan ay uh, probably kung lalagigit kong alkaline-basing supplements mo, pag mo sa umaga, kung yan ang mara, kapag inino mo yan, that's the first thing that will enter your stomach. Maan yan, ma-absorb ma agad ng katawan mo. Kasi yung, yung chan mo is hungry of anything na pag pumatak dyan, i-dissolve niya agad. So, take supplements in the morning. Next is you have to do stretching and workout. You know what guys, para mag-circulate ng maayos ang, you know, ang dugo mo within your body and your nerves, maganda mag-stretching ano ka, ah, mag, mag ka. Okay? You, have, you can do probably workout. Okay? So, basta maganda dapat mapawisan ka kahit konti in the morning. So, kung... I, kung ikaw naman, nagbabukas ka ng timbang, it's a different story. So, it's a different uh, probably routine kung talagang intensive ka sa pagbabukas ng timbang. Pero, probably yung normal normal morning routine ng mga taong successful na wala namang hindi naman silang babawas ng timbang is that you can probably do a stretching. Parang sa ganun, mag-circulate ng maayos ang dugo mo within your body. Okay? Yung mga nerve mga nerves mo na hindi na masyado nadadaluyin ng ayos ang dugo, lahat siya mabubuhay pag nag-stretching ka. Okay? Of course, after the stretching, what, you, what, you, um, what you'll be doing next, you can take a bath. Guys, you know what? Um, iba kasi yung refresh ka in the morning. Iba yung, syempre, napawisan ka din naman. So, uh, iba yung refresh ka in the morning. Iba yung, you know what, pag, pag uh, harap mo sa sa maghapon, di ba? First in the morning, after after mo mag-workout, uh, clean yourself, take a bath. Okay? So, next routine ng mga taong successful is what? You have to find time to read books or video trainings or audio trainings. Probably, pwede mong isabay while drinking coffee. Ito, paboritong, paborito kong ginagawa in the morning after kumaligo, di ba? So, I'm so ready, di ba, to, to face the, the, the whole day. Again, hindi ko pa rin hindi ko pa rin binubuksan ang cellphone ko, okay? So, I do have an iPad, I do have a laptop. Make sure na naka-out yung Facebook mo doon para walang istorbo. Punta si YouTube, nood ka ng mga trainings if you have. Kung meron kang books, read books. Remember, okay? You have to learn every day. Life is is never-ending learning. So, make sure na fulfill yung utak mo ng mga ano knowledge. Sabi nga, you have to grow. You know what? By nature, parang plants tayo eh. Sabi nga na T. Herb Ecker is that if you stop growing, that's a time you will start dying. Parang halaman. Kapag ang halaman ay hindi lumalaki, ano nangyari dyan? Namamatay yan. Dalawa lang yan. Same thing with tayo bilang tao. So if you're not growing, paunti-unti tayong ano eh, kumbaga sa nag-depreciate yung sarili natin, yung buhay natin. So bottom line, you have to learn every day. Read books. I could suggest to you read books kung bago ka pa lang sa entrepreneurship you could read books ni Robert Kiyosaki na Rich Dad Poor Dad like you know kay uh, Seven Habits of Highly uh, Effective People ni Stephen Covey yung mga binabasa ko na book di ba kay mga books ni Napoleon Hill and of course uh, yung Secrets of the Millionaire Mind ni uh, you know ni T. Harv Eker okay so those are the books na paborito kong basahin and Ah, uh, minsan pag uh, na natripan na, ko na ano, hindi naman ako nanood ng na nakikinig, hindi naman ako nagbabasa ng books, I watch video trainings. I I, I take down notes, okay? And make sure every day natututo ako, may bago ako natututunan. You could you could watch training ni probably ni Jim Quick, no? Uh, I could recommend to you uh, mga training sa si Herb Ecker, meron siyang mga uh, video trainings and of course, para mas matuto ka, panoodin mo ang trainings ni Coach Jobs Ramirez. I do have a lot of trainings on YouTube. Uh, just subscribe to our YouTube channel para, you know, you can watch everything on my channel, okay? Next is after you have done with your video trainings, next is you can cook your meal and you can take your breakfast. Alam niyo guys, according sa, sa pag-aaral, no, those successful people, those billionaires, they cook their own meal. That's true. Guys, you know what? Iba kasi yung effort pag ikaw yung nagluto. Ako, to lang, I'm a food, uh, I'm, I'm a food enthusiast, no? Ako, mahilig ako magluto. Uh, mahilig talaga ako na, you know, I, I love to cook my foods. I make sure na healthy yung niluluto ko as much possible. Less oil, di ba? As much possible. Uh, less grease yan. 
uh, all raw, okay? Uh, probably, you can have your, you know, mga, yung mga high-end cooking wares like Salad Master para make sure na healthy talaga yung kinakain mo. And of course, don't skip your meal, okay? Pra, not unless you're in the intermittent fasting. So, it's again, it's a different story. But then, breakfast is okay, okay? Light breakfast is good. Uh, yung mga high-end fiber foods, depende sa pangailangan ng katawan natin, Okay? Before I forget guys, no, um, before anything else pala, bag, bago mo simulan ng kahit ano, you have to pray. Kauna na in the morning, pagising mo pala before you open your eyes, no, or right after you open your eyes, you have to pray, you have to thank the Lord. Okay, that's the very basic na nagagawin mo before anything else. Kasi, you have to be grateful na it's a morning, di ba, nagising ka pa, and another gift of life, di ba? Kaya, you have to thank the Lord. First thing in the morning, yun ang gagawin mo before anything else. After that, guys, believe me, you're ready to face the whole day. Uh, negativities, kung may pumasok man, I mean, kung may encounter ka man, you can easily block them, okay? Kasi, in-equip mo na sarili mo on that certain morning routine and probably, and of course, definitely 100%, you can now win the day, okay? So again, before anything else, bago tayo matapos, before we end this video, magka-shout out muna tayo sa mga subscribers natin. Ayan. So, gusto ko lang i-acknowledge, I would like to shout out our subscribers, si Virginia Atong, kay Mael Alisen, alright, kay Dailin Robles, hello po sa inyo, alright, so shout out din kay, uh, kay Mama Sang, okay, hello po kay Christina Dasal, hello kay Jepoy Arada, and of course, last but not the least, hello kay Inday Bebs Olano, okay. So anyway guys, again, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you on my next video. Bye-bye!